Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would quickly show you how to do a pamphlet stitch and make a traveler's notebook. So here on the cover, I've got a calico collage image that I have sewn and added some washi tape. It flips out so you can see the inside and there's places to write there. And then I have added some scrapbook paper, notebook paper, other scrapbook paper, some grid paper, another scrapbook paper. This is linen paper that I have printed the lines. Here is a coloring book. This is fancy paper that I got years ago at a place in Texas called Paper Routes. And then here's some more grid paper, the printed paper, another piece of scrapbook paper, and then here is the center. So what I do is once I have all my papers decided that's going to go in my book and I have them in order. I have these giant paper clips. You could use bull nose clips. You could use uh, clothes pins. There's all kinds of ways, but it makes it easier if you line everything up and get this in place so that it won't shift on you. And then I make a template. This is just a piece of scrap paper that was from a packaging and I poke holes where I want to have the holes poked and then I have a device that my husband made for me it's a book binding cradle and this looks like a trough if you will so let me get it set up here so you can see it So what I do is I line this up in there, and because this trough has a hole in the bottom, when I use my awl, that's one of these devices, I can poke through and not worrying about am I making a mess on my surface. Plus, because this is at a V, it pushes all those papers down into the V and makes a nice clean hole punch. So now that's got holes in it. Okay. Then I use wax linen thread on most of my journals. Occasionally I'll use hemp cord, but I find that here in the U.S. anyway, if you're not too hot, the wax linen cord works really well, but you can also use hemp cord as well. Okay options. So what I do is I do three links. One, two, and then three links and cut this so that I can work with it without having to mess with the whole roll. And I start in the center and poke to the outside. And I pull this through and I hang on to the tail and find the next hole. So let's poke it so I can see it on the outside and go to the inside. What I find is if I slightly pull the center one to the top, that makes that hole a nice opening. And then I'll poke down through the center again. And then we're going to come up from the outside. I'm just poking the hole again so I can see it. Go from the outside. And now I'm going to tie it off. And how I do that is I go underneath this top piece. And then I pull these tight, making sure that I've got a good knot started. So these aren't flopping around, they're tight, and then I tie a knot, basic square knot, if you will. I do two of those. Then I trim off the excess. In this case, I plan to leave these tails, and I'm going to add some butterflies. So I've got these punched butterflies that I punched out of cardstock, and I place just a little bit of glue on the butterfly. And then I lay the string in here, 
take the next butterfly and sandwich it on top and I'll hold it for just a second or two to get it to adhere make adjustments where necessary and then I'm going to repeat this on the other string and then I remove the paper clips and this journal, Traveler's Notebook, that was made out of miscellaneous items in my stash. And some of this was leftover items from other projects. That is complete. So I thought I'd share with you all of these that I have made. Here's one. Here's another cover. And the insides are basically the same. I just use various papers from my stash as pages. There's another. This is a fancy paper that I picked up years ago, and I just thought that would be a pretty page. That cover. This one is a page that is from my spray box, and it would have been trash, but I sewed it into a pocket and just added it as a journal. Here's another. Here's one where I sewed ribbon across the top and the bottom. Same concept on the inside. Here's a couple that have unicorn images on there. These are also from Calico Collage. Another with the butterfly from Calico Collage. Here's one where I did it in pink. I just love that the way that these Calico Collage images are, you can mix and match what your background goes with it and it gives it a completely different look so there's teal pink and purple and then here's another so i just thought i would share with you how to do the pamphlet stitch on a traveler's notebook if you have any questions please feel free to comment below seek me out on my facebook page i've also created a friendly junk journal people Facebook group. The link will be in my description box. Please join if you like junk journals, all things junk journal. Love to have you as a member as well. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification button in the top so you know when my next journal, my next video will be. If you are wanting me to do a tutorial on something, send me a message and I'll be glad to do it. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day. Bye.